what's going on all you fellow gamers it is just jay here bringing you a brand new video and this is going to be a clash of clans <sighs> clash of clans video i'm going to go over some important information that i needed to go over that i wanted to talk to you guys about and share with you especially all my clash players just because it was something that i was wondering if y'all had thought the same thing or considered the same thing as well so we're going to go ahead and make three of these potions and this is what the big question is is these potions now I recorded this video a little bit earlier and it didn't work as well as planned because the audio was messed up and I don't want to do another video where my audio is messed up for you guys because I know that can be very annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and re-record but basically what I did was I gymmed my whole army and previously, previously in the previous video I had one type of each troop and we're not going to do that this time. We're just going to do one type of troop because it was a little bit hard to do and get the point across or show you what I was trying to show you. So, whenever this potion first came out, as you can see, um, the brew Dark Spell Factory, which is a very, very nice thing or tool that, that was added into the game and I'm really excited about it and want to use it. And there was a couple of questions and things that had popped up about it. And that's what we're going to be discussing. But before we get into that, if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen it. Uh, or if you are watching this video, you've, it's probably July 10th already. So, uh, what we wanted to talk about was today we're going to be doing care packages for the homeless and we're going to be serving hot meals to the homeless people as well. And it's also got a slogan with it is giving is the best therapy. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. And then also t tomorrow after that, we're going to be doing the Black Light Run for Children's Miracle Network. So, those are what's going to be going on this weekend. It's a big weekend for NXT and it's friends and family. So uh, be on the lookout for some videos coming from those events and things like that. But back to what we were originally talking about, which is the Dark Spell Factory, okay? Now, these potions were very, very uh, strong. They're very, they come in handy. They come really, really good. A few ways that you can use them. So I'm going to tie all this in, them, in together just because... I want to make it into one video and I've already done it so I've already experimented and did what I wanted to do. But so a couple of things we want to cover. First and foremost is let's just say you're in war and we're going to go this is the enemy team. Let's just say we're going to start anywhere. I don't know. These bases haven't been started. So we're going to go ahead and scout these bases out and I'm going to show you. So first and foremost what you wanted to do is potions are really good for clan castle troops. We do know this. Uh, they're poison and they're pretty much OP right now. Best thing in the game uh, as far as it comes to clan castle troops. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw your CC. Now first and foremost this is a very bad idea, a very bad showing of it because it's so far in that the CC really isn't going to get noticed until your troops get right here which is going to be obliterated. Kind of, see it's, it's kind of right there, it's a little bit off but it's pretty close. Right here um, by this point in time, this wizard tower is already going to be taking care of your troops. So, hopefully, you can put enough in here to destroy these two, these two or these three things without this wizard tower getting in there and doing it. And you draw your clan and castle troops out, basically. That's the idea of it. Then you're going to drop the potion right on it. At this level town hall or at this level base with these kind of walls and this high of a king, I wouldn't actually s try to draw them out. It's really just a more or less all-out attack. Wipe them out best we can with whichever attack it is that you're good with and whatever it is that you use. But that's the concept of the, the poison, is to use it on the clan castle troops. And it's a very, 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 very good strategy to do. But basically what I wanted to show you and the question I had and I was concerned with was the fact that it does something to your own troops. Now, uh, you might be laughing if you're watching this video. If you're still here, you're probably laughing like, what the hell is this guy talking about? So on and so forth. Well, I have some good examples as to why I would believe that it would actually... why, Or I have a good example of why I would actually believe that it could be damaging my troops. Now, earlier, I gemmed a full army. Um, and I did one of each troop. But we're just going to gem a Barchin army. For the video's sake. We're going to go ahead and gem it. 18 and... Anyway, that's good enough. That's enough. That's enough troops to do what we need to do and show you what I want to do. Strawberry fails. I do this every video. I don't know why I do this. But yeah. Anyway, you get the picture. Strawberry fails. It's my favorite request status. Um, but yeah, so that's just marching troops. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hop into here and, and we're going to get into a base and we're going to find out whether this potion 
going to damage my troops. I'm gonna find the first of it, and I got another shield. Same thing as last time. All right, so this is a great, great concept and a great setup because I can put one troop out here, and I can show you right off the bat because the builders are out here on the outside, and it works amazing. I'm, I'm gonna lose a lot of trophies if I don't get this town hall. Hopefully, I can get in there and get that town hall without messing up. But whatever. We're going to do it even if I lose trophies. All right, so basically I wanted to put the Barbarian here, right? I want to put two Barbarians up there, and I want to drop the potion right on his head. Now, generally, what happened, or I what I saw was that my Barbarians or my troops were losing health. As you can see clearly right here, it's not true. The potion does not hurt your own troops. Now, there is some good reasons as to why I might would believe that this had happened, and I'm going to show you that real quick. But let me go ahead and try and take this base, just get at least one star off of it right quick. See if we can't get one star off of this base. If I can get one star, I'll be happy. Just one star so I don't lose all those darn trophies. Okay, wrong, wrong unit. Why? Let me just try and get one star here. I know I can do it. Come on, guys. You got this. I got no rage spells, which is what I usually run when I'm barching. And I didn't have any, but we're going to try and do it anyway. I wish I hadn't used my hero ability so early on, but... Go ahead and get right into that. Come on, guys. You got this. You got this, troops. Go ahead, soldiers. Get them. Yeah, we got it. Easy. Easy peasy pudding pie. All right. We went in and got the one star. That was really all I... Oh, maybe I can get that. Nah, it's only 54. Never mind. Um, but this would be a good time to show you that. It's not going to damage my troops. It will poison the king there. It will do some damage to that king. But it didn't damage my troops. Unfortunately, the mortars. But that's what, exactly what I was trying to show you is that... These troops got wiped out as soon as I dropped that spell, but it was a little bit a little bit before, but we're not going to get into that. That was one example, okay? No loot, but I did manage to get some trophies, okay? So what we're going to show you is we're going to go back to this war, war play. Now, don't hate on me. Don't make fun of me for my particular attack strategy, but I am learning the go wipe strategy, and here it is. Where did it go? Uh, yeah, I'm learning the go wipe strategy, so don't make fun of me too much I'm not really that great at it but this is the one I wanted to show you now you can see that I only got one star you can go ahead but that's not important that's not what we're going over so basically what I wanted you to see is right here where this clan castle is you can see you can see this general area okay this is where I drop my spell at you can see I'm practicing go wipe I'm working on go wipe here I'm trying to draw the troops out let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit once we get to the area that's in question then um, right here is where we want to show. Now this is where I wanted to show you. See my king is out. My king is going in. Hardcore. And I got two Pikas here. Let's go ahead and put that back on one time. Alright. Right here. This is going to be a big, big fight right here. King, two Pikas, some archers and a dragon. We got a wizard tower here. Uh, cannon here. Or mortar here, not cannon. Alright. Let's go ahead and play this up. Now you watch this. Watch this king's health. He just dropped. What happened right there? I don't know. Looks like this wizard tower is doing damage to him. Now, this is where I first originally thought, like, wait a minute. My king just died so super fast. And in the heat of a battle, it could look like that. But if you look again, see, there goes the potion. And the king's dead that quick. Now, here I am thinking the potion is what's actually killing the king. But it's not. To my un unavail or to my poor misjudgment, this mortar and this wizard tower is absolutely obliterating or not even the mortar so much the wizard tower and this dragon here is obliterating the king now for those of you that have never seen this or don't know what this is this is a red dragon so this is the highest dragon that you can get it's the newest one that they did after the upgrade this is the dragon so needless to say i was wrong the dragon is the red dragon uh it's the highest level dragon you can get and as you can see he obliterates he's chasing down my peekers just destroying them both peekers were gone really quick and the king melted down. Now he's just destroying wizards and everything else. So, as you can see, I was a little bit confused as to what was going on right here in this area. And I'm not going to force you to watch the rest of that, but I was a little bit confused as to what was going on in that area. And I didn't know why I was dying so quickly, but now I know. And I can share that information with you. So, a couple of things that we can go over in future videos is great placement. A placement for your troops and your spells in that nature that way they work together and correlate and i will work on some clips for you guys so that i can show you in that video and work a little bit better and hopefully by then this will be upgraded a little bit more i can upgrade it now but um i'm gonna wait so i can get some more extra loot 
because I only have one builder available. But like I said, we'll do another video on that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick informational video. Make sure you share that support on our homeless care packages for the homeless videos. They'll be coming out real soon this weekend. And also the run the run video as well because it's all for great causes. But like I said, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe, share, and like. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.